Hello, Adventure Story friends. Are you tired of hand grinding your grain into flour, your bone into bone meal, your limestone into lime, and your borax into borax powder? Or maybe you're ready to make the leap and build a helve hammer. Then it's time to harness the power of wind with a windmill. Let's go. Windmills are not something you're going to build from the start. And here's the list of items we're going to need to build even the most basic of windmills. All of those base components will allow us to build a rotor, sails, axles, and angled gears. Yeah, they're called angled gears. On the base list, I think the two hardest things to get early game are resin and flax. Flax can be found out in the open, and honestly, to get mass amounts of it, you're gonna need to start farming the hell out of it. We've talked about this before, but that's something you should start right from the get-go. And then resin just involves you looking at a lot of trees, looking up at a lot of trees, and looking at all sides of a lot of trees. The resin hunt is never ending, and whenever you see it, stop, pick it up, and mark it on the map. You'll need copper for the saw and the chisel, which means you've cracked the copper code. And the fat, well, we all know how you get that. In my mind, the windmill has two setups that I think are effective. It's the simple setup, like the one here in front of me, and the super setup, like this one here on the left. We're gonna talk more about this one in a second. Setting up a simple windmill like this can get rid of some of that early grinding boredom if you're not into kierning for hours on end. Me, I enjoy it. Others, not so much. So here's my simple windmill setup. I just, I always go and find a little hill. Look, I found one. That'll give me some elevation. And then four to six blocks up, it's made of dirt. Very, very simple here. Out the back. I mean, you could do it even simpler than this. You could put the kiln right on top. And then here it is. And wow, look, we've already got it grinding out some some flax seed. Now you can see like it's it's not very windy right now, 19. And I only put two sets of sails on it. And this is the kind of thing that like you set it up and forget. So you put an entire stack of grain in there leave and come back and boom, it's done for you. This can be done bone meal, everything, right? I think this setup is great for the beginner. Someone who wants to get into wind power and maybe doesn't want to go through the elaborateness of building a giant windmill yet. So the wind has picked up and you can see here that it's working. It's not very big, it's small, easy to set up, minimal resources. Let's take a look how quick and easy it is to build. All right, let's build this simple windmill with a kiln on it. And like I said, it's 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 just a basic three by three by three block here. Looks like I want one too many. And then we just, we're gonna go up four and I've got some trusty ladders here to help us go up. Time and time again, I've made these windmills and not made good access or easy access and it's, it's bit me in the butt. So make sure that you can get to it fairly easily. So we're four up and it's a three by three by three cube. And this is, you, you don't have to build it like this. This is just my quick and easy design. We'll go here. We're gonna build a little, little access thing here so we can get it on correctly. There we go. And then it, we need more space. We gotta take this one out. And then we're gonna put two more on. Oh, look, it's already moving. I always build out in front of it. It just makes it easier to attach the rotor and then also put the sails on. And then you can see it'll come up and tell you, hey, you know, you couldn't get it. So we had to move that one out. All right. And there's the basic windmill up and running. And then we're going to come up here and say uh, one more. Remember, you got to angle the way you want it to go. And then we're going to put a little angled gear. And then when we do that, it'll automatically hook up. And we're going to come down going to find our kiln, put it on. And it's moving. Now let's talk about a full size windmill. Here is my design, the one I've been thinking about for a long time, and that's find a nice little mountain. I always think you should find a hill to build these in. It's gonna save you resources and also give you some height. And then I like to build in what I'm going to run. So a helve hammer in this instance, right below it. So there's easy access. I went, I'm coming straight down, right? And I've got two nice helve hammers in here. I built this nice stairwell. I think it's kind of cool. Hey, we can see the small one we built and here's all my test areas. One door and basically there's nothing in here other than just access to the windmill itself. As I was talking about when we made the smaller windmill, I think having access is always important. 
Uh, I like to add some glass just because at night this thing looks amazing. And then up the ladder we go. As you can see, it's the same basic design, right? You've got a couple of wooden axles. There's the rotor, some sails. I've got a lot more sails on these ones. Coming to a big wheel, which is distributing all of the power from all of them. That's the only difference between this big one and that little one is that there's just, there's more. Let's go down and take a look and see how it's powering the helve hammer. You don't have to, you don't have to put it directly below the windmill, but I always find it much, much easier and less complicated for my brain just to keep everything close, right? I know that this is coming directly down, then into another big wooden gear, and then being transferred uh, to a clutch and a transmission. And you don't have to build this either, but this stops the hell of hammers from always running. And for those of you that have played the game, and those of you who are about to, the hell of hammers make a very interesting noise and it is constant. And so being able to turn it off is something nice. And so if we just activate this, You hear what I'm talking about. So we've got two health hammers. We've got a wooden toggle underneath. So basically the health hammer is simple. Let's turn this off so we can hear me. Which is a base, a toggle, and the hammer. And then I've got an anvil on the end. I'm running just an axle off the side here. You can see. And it's all coming off the big wheel. And I've got, you've, you know, you've got those four windmills up there. And plenty of power. Plenty of power. I think the takeaways from the big windmill is the higher it is, the more power and the more consistent the wind will be. Uh, honestly, like build the small windmill, understand how it works, and then making the big one is so much easier. So these are my two examples. I'd love to hear about your windmill adventures. I'd love to see pictures of your windmill. I've got a great Discord. You can upload them there. Love to hear your thoughts on windmills. Leave them in the comments below. And hey, we'll see you next time. Oh, one final thought. They look really cool at night when they're all lit up. And they kind of act as a lighthouse to guide you home. The video's over. Now it's time for you to do your part. Follow, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.